Hello brothers and sisters, uh, this is uh, Christina speaking. Today is uh, July 3rd, 2023 and I hope you are doing well and so I have a message from the Lord but before I share it, I want to confess that I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in the flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Amen. Before I go through the message of today, I want to share with you a few special scriptures from the Lord to begin with. Luke 21, Matthew 24 from verse 28 to 51 and Acts chapter 2 from verse 19 to 20. The Lord wants you brothers and sisters to study these scriptures, pray and take everything to the Holy Spirit for discernment and understanding. He wants you to understand the signs of the times and the end of the age spoken in these scriptures. You are going to understand how very close we are and also how you should be living your life in order to be ready for what is coming. We are watching for the rapture and we know the rapture can happen any day now. Of course, nobody knows the day or the hour except God alone. And this is why you must watch, pray, and be ready every day. The Lord wants you to pay attention to Luke 21, verse 28, which says, Now, when these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads because your redemption draws near. He's talking about all these end times signs that are happening now. The Lord said that the whole world is about to be shaken. Brothers and sisters, I hope you have found Jesus Christ, our God and Savior, because he is the only one who is going to save you in coming days. Amen. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. There is no other way. John 14, verse 6. Remember, the scripture says, Pursue peace with all people and live a holy life. If you do these two things, you will see the face of the Lord God. Amen. Now I'm going to share with you the message from the Lord which I received through a prophetic dream I had a few days ago. And this is a warning to the church. A few days ago, I had a dream in which someone knocked on my door. I opened, it was a woman. She came in, then suddenly I started telling her that I had just done three days of prayer and God told me that the church is full of fornicators, liars, and sorcerers. This woman did not look at me, but she went straight to sit in my living room and suddenly her moods changed. She was looking towards my bedroom. At that time, my brother, who was at home, said that he was going to beat her. But I told him that I was going to beat her myself. At that moment, I changed. I became like a soldier. I jumped on her and started beating her. But I don't know what happened. The woman disappeared. The dream ended. By the way, I had this dream after I have done three days of prayer. And so I prayed, seeking the Lord for discernment and understanding of the dream. And so now I'm going to share with you what the Lord said and his message. He said that the woman in 
the dream represents the state of the church. These last days we are living in. The Lord said that the church is in a deep sleep because of the first doctrines. He said that the wicked prophets and priests, including pastors and whoever claims to hear from the Most High God and speaks on his behalf, the Lord said that they must expect to be judged and punished. He said that they have allowed the abomination to stand in the holy place. He was talking about all these evil activities being done in the church. He talked about homosexual marriage, divorced marriage, and he said that there are many other evil activities being done in the church. And so this message is for the church, brothers and sisters. After he said that, he gave me a scripture, Jeremiah 23. Now I'm going to share with you what he said about Jeremiah 23, which applies to the church today. I'm going to read my notes. And so the Lord is speaking to the prophets, the priests, pastors, and whoever else speaks on behalf of the Most High God. The Lord is speaking to the church, brothers and sisters. He said, they are teaching people to sin by their examples. They are causing his people to err, to forsake the service of the true God, and to worship the false God, Satan. The Lord compares them with the prophets of Samaria in Jeremiah 23. He said that they debauch people as much by their immoralities and idolatries. They make use of the name of the Holy God and yet warrow in all manner of impurity. They make use of the name of the God of truth and yet walk in lies. He said that they not only prophesy lies, but in the common conversation, no one can believe the word they say. And this is why none returns from his weakness. Because of this, the judgment of God is coming upon wicked and sinners. Just as it happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. He wants me to remind you, brothers and sisters, that Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed by fire and brimstone. You can read Genesis 19 in order to understand what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. The Lord said that the encouraged people in sin by the false prophecies they make themselves believe that there is no harm, no danger in sin, and practiced accordingly. And others believe so too. He said that 
they tell sinners that it shall be well with them, though they persist in their sins. He said that they should have said that there is no peace to those that go on in the evil ways. He said that those who are resolved to go on in the evil ways will justly be given up to believe the strong delusions of those who tell them that they shall have peace though they go on. The Lord said that if they had stood in his counsel as they pretend, they would have done all they could to turn people from the evil way, in other words, from the evil doings. The Lord said that they have been great and honorable among the nations, but now God will bring upon them an everlasting punishment. The Lord talked about the spirit of delusion that has been sent. He gave me two scriptures, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, from verse 11 to 13. I'm going to read from verse 11 to 12. And please read this scripture in order to understand. And so 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 from verse 11 to 13, it says, And for this reason God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie that they all might be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Isaiah 66 verse 4 So where I choose the delusions and bring the fears on them because when I called no one answered when I spoke they did not hear but they did evil before my eyes and chose that in which I do not delight brothers and sisters understand that God has sent a spirit of derision and so many believe in lies. Brothers and sisters, this is what is going on now. Many are listening to these false prophets. They believe in their lies. And so understand that a spirit of delusion has been signed already. Be careful. And so um, now I'm going to share with you all the scriptures the Lord gave me. I did question the Lord about his mercy because this is the message for the church and the, the church is in a deep sleep. And so I wanted to know about his mercy. And so um, he started talking about obedience. He talked about John chapter 9, verse 4, he says, Jesus says, I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can walk. 
then he talked about Matthew 19 verse 17 Jesus said to him if you want to enter into life keep the commandments then he talked about um, Matthew 21 from verse 28 to 31 which says but what do you think a man had two sons and he came to the first and said son go work today in my vineyard he answered and said I will not but afterward he regretted it and went then he came to the second and said likewise and he answered and said I go sir but he did not go which one of the two did the will of his father they said to him the first Jesus said to them assuredly I say to you that tax collectors and harlots enter the kingdom of God before you brothers and sisters understand that without obedience no one will enter into the kingdom of God he's talking about keeping his commandments if you love God keep his commandments without that you are not going to enter into the kingdom of God then the Lord talked about his mercy he gave me He gave me a scripture, Joel chapter 2. In Joel chapter 2, this is a serious call to the people to return to God and repent. In this scripture, God makes a promise that upon the repentance, he will remove the judgment and restore unto them plenty of good things. This is the mercy of God. Then he gave me another scripture, Zechariah 13. God made a promise to provide a spiritual fountain to cleanse people of these sins brothers and sisters understand that God Jesus Christ takes away the guilt of sin by the blood of his cross brothers and sisters the blood of Christ cleans from all sins all you need brothers and sisters is to come to Christ humble yourself and repent all your sins no matter how much sins you have done Jesus Christ will forgive you but remember Repentance means go and sin no more. Please share this message and take time always to study these scriptures. Pray and take everything to the Holy Spirit for discernment and understanding. We don't have much time left.
I heard a voice two days ago. The voice said, the terrible day of the Lord is approaching. And this is when I got the scripture, Joel chapter 2. Brothers and sisters, it is happening. Get ready. Don't be stupid. Come to Jesus Christ and repent. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, turn to him right now. Receive and accept him as your God and Savior. Believe and repent all your sins before it is too late. Once you believe in him, you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Then get baptized of water and spirit. Unless you are born again, you are not going to enter into the kingdom of God. Born again means you believe in Jesus Christ. You love him, you obey him, and you keep his commandments. Time is very short. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in his son is named Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen.